Hello everyone. My name is Nikhil Mukha. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss how to file IEPF form 5. The shareholders still continue to hold their shares in the physical form even after the dematerialization of shares. There are instances where the securities holder could not be able to retrieve their shares or dividend or interest due to misplacement of certificates, wear and tear of the share certificates and mismatch of the signature of the transfer. And for a long period of time, these shares remain unclaimed by the investors. Hence, the shares and all the amounts accrued on those shares get transferred to an account called the Investor Education and Protection Fund. Therefore, to retrieve the shares and amount from the IEPF fund, the claimant shareholder shall have to file a form which is known as IEPF Form 5. Now, we will discuss what is the legislative and regulatory framework for filing IEPF Form 5. The Companies Act 2013 deals with the unpaid and unclaimed dividends which are transferred to the Investor Education Protection Fund. Under Section 124 Clause 5 of the Act, the company, after transferring the dividend or any interest accrued in the unpaid dividend account for more than 7 years is eligible to transfer it to an IEPF account. Further, the proviso of Section 124 Clause 6 of the Act specifically states that the claimant of the shares can get their shares transferred from the IEPF according to the procedures and filing of the required documents. Now, we will discuss what are the eligible amounts for refund. Section 125 Clause 3 Sub Clause A makes it clear that the amount in the IEPF shall be eligible for the fund in the case of unclaimed dividends, matured deposits, matured debentures and interest. Apart from the previously mentioned amounts, the Investor Education Protection Fund Authority Accounting, Audit, Transfer and Refund Rules 2016 also states that any person whose shares, unclaimed dividend, matured deposits, matured debentures, application money which is due for refund, sale proceeds of the fractional shares and redemption proceeds of the preference shares is due for a refund are eligible to file the form with the IEPF authority along with the requisite documents and submission of required fees with the authority. Now we will discuss who can claim the shares or the amount. The unclaimed dividend or the interest can be claimed by the person in whose name that amount is transferred to the IEPF. In case of transmission of shares, the amount shall be claimed by the survivor legal heir or nominee. In other words, it means that the form will be filed by the shareholders and not by the company. Now we will discuss what are the documents required for filing the form. Duly signed transmission request letter in case of transmission, original death certificate of the deceased shareholder, original PAN card, original Aadhaar card, succession certificate, probate of will or letter of administration, duly stamped received in case of succession certificate, probate of will or letter of administration is not available. Duly stamped affidavit from legal heirs claiming legal ownership to the securities. Original indemnity bond, copy of FIR in case of loss of securities containing information of security holders and folio number. Original share certificate, interest warrant, dividend warrant, application number or any other document giving details to proof of entitlement. Self-attested copy of passport. In the case of non-resident Indian and foreigners, a copy of overseas citizen of India and person of Indian origin card. Now we will discuss what is the procedure for filing IEPF form 5. Visit the MCA website and click on the web form IEPF 5. Afterwards, click on upload e-forms. Then login into the portal by using the login credentials. Upload the required documents at the time of filing the form. After uploading all the necessary documents, an acknowledgement receipt is generated which will bear the service request number. The printout of both the filled IEPF Form 5 and service request number is to be taken. Afterwards, the necessary documents along with the copy of filled IEPF Form 5 and the service request number are to be submitted with the company's nodal officer at its registered place in the physical form. The company will verify the form and send its report to the IEPF authority. The authority will then verify all the documents submitted and on satisfaction, credit transfer from the company into the IPF authority. At last, the IPF authority will then release the amount in the claimant's name through electronic transfer mode. For more such update, please subscribe to the channel.